A new global threat is emerging, a silent killer, lurking in farms, spilling into towns, and now knocking on humanity's door. This isn't a science fiction plot. This is H5N1, bird flu. And it's no longer just a bird problem. Over 168 million animals lost. 70 human infections. One confirmed death in the US. And the virus has now reached all 50 states. A global warning is sounding louder than ever. Leading virologists from over 40 countries have issued an urgent warning. The world may be on the brink of another pandemic, this time from the H5N1 avian influenza virus. In a powerful commentary published on April 28th in the Lancet Regional Health Americas, the Global Virus Network, or GVN, has called on global leaders to act swiftly, invoking lessons learned from the COVID-19 pandemic to avert a potential crisis. The experts highlight the increasingly alarming spread of H5N1, a highly pathogenic bird flu strain that can infect both animals and humans, causing symptoms ranging from cough, sore throat and body aches to pneumonia and, in severe cases, death. In the U.S., sporadic human infections with no known contact with infected animals highlight the possibility of viral adaptation for efficient human-to-human -human transmission. In the United States, the outbreak has taken a dangerous turn. The virus, as per the authors, has now been confirmed in over 995 dairy cow herds and has infected more than 70 people, primarily farm workers. Among these cases, at least one person has died, marking the first confirmed H5N1-related fatality in the country. The highly pathogenic influenza virus is now circulating in all 50 states, the virologists warn, resulting in the loss or culling of more than 168 million poultry animals in the US since 2022. While human-to-human -human transmission is not documented, experts warn that virus mutations or the combination of two flu viruses could increase transmissibility. Dr. Stin H. Vermond, Chief Medical Officer of the GVN and Dean of the USF Health College of Public Health at the University of South Florida, stressed the importance of proactive measures. Understanding the current landscape of H5N1 infections is critical for effective prevention and response. The virus's ability to infect both animals and humans combined with recent genetic changes underscores the importance of proactive surveillance and rapid response measures. The United Kingdom has not been spared. Seven human cases have been recorded since 2021, including the most recent infections in January 2025. But it's a new development that's particularly unsettling. British scientists recently confirmed the world's first case of H5N1 bird flu in sheep discovered on a farm in Yorkshire. This cross-species transmission has prompted further concern. Experts warn the virus is spilling over repeatedly into mammals, increasing the likelihood of viral adaptation. In humans, H5N1 commonly presents like the flu. Mild symptoms include sore throat, cough, fatigue, muscle aches and runny nose. However, more severe manifestations, such as high fever, pneumonia and respiratory failure, have also been reported. Health experts emphasise that, like COVID-19, H5N1 cannot be diagnosed based on symptoms alone. Laboratory testing is essential. Diagnostic swabs can be taken from the throat, nose or eyes, while critically ill patients may require lower respiratory tract samples for accurate diagnosis. The most reliable results are obtained when samples are collected within the first few days of illness. The GVN has laid out a comprehensive set of recommendations to contain the spread of H5N1 and prevent it from escalating into a full-scale pandemic. Surveillance and monitoring. Experts urge constant tracking of dairy cattle, poultry, milk and wastewater for early bird flu detection. Data sharing and genomics. Real-time global genomic data sharing is critical to trace virus mutations and spread. 
Biosecurity protocols, strict PPE use and deep cleaning on farms are key to preventing cross-species transmission. Rapid diagnostics and health access. Call for easy-to-use test kits and better healthcare access for exposed frontline workers. Public awareness campaigns. Raising awareness on bird flu symptoms is vital to counter misinformation and public complacency. Vaccine preparedness. Scientists want fast-track development of vaccines for humans and animals. Clinical research. Studies on new H5N1 strains and treatment effectiveness are a top scientific priority. Dr. Christian Brechot, President Emeritus of the GVN and Director of the USF Health Microbiomes Institute, stressed the urgency of the situation. The situation with H5N1 demands heightened vigilance and collaboration across public health sectors. Early detection and robust surveillance are critical to prevent further spread. Elise Starkler, a GVN scientist at the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard, stressed on robust monitoring. A robust nationwide monitoring system is essential to quickly detect and quarantine affected animals and implement preventive measures to curb further spread and human infections. Further, we believe it is crucial to maintain trust and stakeholder buy-in for monitoring programs, particularly from farm workers. Despite growing warnings, some institutional actions appear to be stalling. According to an email seen by Reuters, the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, recently instructed the National Academy of Sciences to halt work on a workshop focused on preventing human bird flu infections. The reasons for this decision remain unclear. The move has raised eyebrows, especially as top US scientists warn that America is staring down the barrel of a potential new pandemic. With repeated spillovers into mammals, rising human cases and mounting fatalities, the message from the scientific community is unequivocal. Time is of the essence. The H5N1 outbreak is emerging as a fresh and formidable challenge to global health. With cases rising, animals dying en masse and the virus mutating, virologists say we may be watching history repeat itself unless world leaders respond decisively. The GVN's message is clear. Act now or risk being caught unprepared once again.